A summertime staple is one step closer to extinction. The migratory monarch butterfly is now classified as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace spoke with experts at a butterfly sanctuary in Carbon County. Bear Mountain Butterfly Sanctuary near Jim Thorpe is home to more than 100 butterflies. Their most popular is the monarch. Known for its orange red wings and black veins, what was once a familiar sight is now headed toward extinction. Monarch is symbolic in that it's the only insect that does a two-way migration. And if we lose the numbers of the monarch, we'll lose the migration as a phenomena. And that's what's concerning the scientists. The International Union for Conservation of Nature declared the migratory monarch butterfly endangered. That means the species is now considered to have a very high risk for extinction in the wild. Michelle Franks works at the Butterfly Sanctuary in Penn Forest Township. She says there are many contributing factors to the decline in monarch numbers. Climate change and lack of habitat. Milkweed is being eradicated everywhere and it's because of loss of habitat, they're mowing everything down. Also because of pesticides and GMOs. And without the milkweed, that's the only plant the monarchs will lay their eggs on. Frank says butterflies and caterpillars are important food sources for many animals, even helping farmers grow crops. Well, they're excellent pollinators. Without pollinators, there's like three grains that, they're, that we would be eating. So pollination is extremely important, and butterflies are a big contributor to that. While monarchs aren't on the federal endangered species list right now, experts say they very well could be, and they're offering some tips to help keep them around. At milkweed, don't use pesticides in your gardens, and you need less lawn and more, more flowers. Every year, the Bear Mountain Butterfly Sanctuary raises thousands of monarch butterflies. Your last chance to see them this year is August 28th. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.